Joining us in the studio now is Janet Dobbs. Janet's a product manager with Hewlett Packard. Janet, uh, before we get into the Motif user interface from uh, Hewlett Packard, I noticed on the screen here, way in the background, is a little bit of Unix there. <laughs> it looks like a, a directory. And so Certainly. we all know that Unix is underlying this whole user interface, mm -hmm. which, of course, is different from Unix. It's a, it's a different piece of software. Um, why is Unix uh, provide a good base for, for uh, your product? Unix is a powerful operating system in that it allows for large amounts of memory and large programs uh, which are used um, in technical environments, factory floors, uh, large databases. It's powerful, it's fast, um, it's unfriendly, uh, <laughs> so it's, it's been very successful in more technical environments. That's why, that's why the user interface is in front of it. Huh? Right. Okay, now could, could you tell us, um, like we did in the last segment, what, is, what are we working with here in terms of the hardware? There's obviously some equipment on the floor here. What's this the... is an HP 360. Mm -hmm. It has a 68030 Motorola processor in it. It's running about 33 megahertz. Mm -hmm. And what's the cost of this configuration? Um, series 300 workstations uh, range from about 5,000 up to 60 to 70,000. Mm -hmm. okay. And this a configuration like this goes from 10 to 15,000. Right. Tell us about Motif now and the interface. In particular, how is your approach different from what we just saw before in Open Look? OSF Motif is a combination of technologies uh, from both DEC and HP. Uh, if you notice on the screen, uh, the 3D uh, borders around the windows. Uh, it's an enha enhanced look of the um, graphical user interface common in the PC environment uh, from Microsoft, both Microsoft Windows and Presentation Manager. So it takes advantage of the large installed base um, uh, in the PC market mm -hmm. um, and all the work that's been done in graphical user interfaces there. Is that the major difference, the, the graphic look? I mean, we see it looks quite different, or functionally, is it really the same basic idea? Mm -hmm. I mean, click and point the behavior is based on that found in the PC market. Mm -hmm. So a user can, that has been familiar with working with PCs can walk up to a Unix workstation and not be concerned that it's uh, OS2 or Unix or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, what they see on the screen is what they're used to seeing, and they know how to uh, open applications move around in them. Could you do that for us and show us how you would actually use a motif? Yeah. Um, for example, if I want to move a window and I am a, say I'm a PC user, I know that I put the mouse pointer on the title bar, uh, click on that with the left button, and I can move that window around on uh -huh. the screen. I know that I can go to the left upper corner, uh, hold the left mouse button down, and I get a system menu, which for each window contains uh, things like restore, move, size. Um, mm -hmm. If I want to iconify a window, um, I click in the, uh, there's a minimize and maximize button that are found uh, in Presentation Manager. And on the left side, uh, it's minimize, and I can click and iconify that window, and it moves uh, into an icon. Um, I can bring a window to the foreground by, by clicking in that window. Mm -hmm. uh, the light source moves into that, the border, and so I can tell which window or which application is active at that point. Um, by clicking in the upper right corner, I can allow a, an application to maximize or take mm -hmm. over the display. Mm -hmm. Can you access that, that sort of raw Unix window there and actually work inside it and go um, yes, I behind can. Motif? Mm -hmm. I have a terminal window right here uh, that I click in yeah. and make that window active. And at that point, I uh, can type in any of the commands in the Unix operating system. What, what is the status of Motif? I mean, where is this as a product? Motif will be available from OSF this summer. Um, HP and Corvallis Oregon is under contract uh, with OSF to merge the DEC and the HP toolkits. And we'll be turning that over to OSF in July. So you talked about OSF, and uh, that's an acronym for what, Open Systems Foundation? The Open so uh, Systems Foundation. Right. Open yeah. Software Foundation. Open, open Software, Software Foundation. Foundation. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about that group? What's the, uh, the group what's was formed just about a year ago uh, to ensure uh, that software development environments were open, um, available uh, for input from different workstation vendors, uh, to ensure that there were standards that would exist to help end users and software developers in creating uh, programs. Especially around Unix and AIX mm -hmm. in particular? Mm -hmm. okay. And are there other applications? You talked about primarily Unix, of course, being in that technical environment. Right. Is HP working on new, broader applications that will run under Unix and take advantage of uh, the We're working on applications, and um, other third-party developers are working on applications. Um, with a user interface like this, more users will have access to the power of a Unix workstation. And therefore, I think we'll find workstations in more environments, uh, such as maybe office environments. Mm -hmm. 